Hello, I'm Nancy Carrier. Today I'll be walking you through an example of certified payroll for the state of Massachusetts. We'll start by creating a new payroll batch. This is going to be for a weekly payroll run. And I've already processed through week 25, so we'll calculate payroll for week 26. It's always nice to put in a little description here. Now we want to add the employees to this batch. To do that, we just click on Add Employees. This will show you everyone in the weekly pay group. I'm going to click on Time Activities to pull in any time that these people have entered. All of the time information has been pulled in from existing time cards. So you can see if I click on any one of my employees, they already have time entered. So let's change this information to be specific to a certified job that's based in Massachusetts. We had two employees with zero hours for the pay period so I've added hours for Todd Bloom and Pam Bronner. We can click on each one of them, then click on Earning Details to see the information that was entered. You can see we're using this sample project called AA Masonry, and it's automatically linking the location to New Bedford, Massachusetts. And the same thing was done for Pam Bronner. Added in some time for that AA Masonry project. Now I'm going to take the payroll batch off hold, save it, and release it. Our next step is to calculate the payroll amounts. From the payroll workplace, we go to process payroll documents. In the action field, we'll select calculate. This uses all the information from the batch to do the calculations. All we need to do is click on Process All. This is where we go out to the Symmetry Tax Engine for calculations. And you can see as it's going through, it will show you uh, the number of checks that are completed. One thing I want to mention about the different steps in payroll is that Acumatica gives you um, an easy way to automate tasks. And this calculation of payroll is a really good example. If you'll notice right up here at the top, we have this little clock icon, and this lets you schedule things like running calculations without ever having to come in here and click on the process button. So from this little icon, I can click on add, and it pops up what we call an automation schedule. So from here, you can set up things like uh, exactly how often you want this to run, if you want it to run uh, between a certain time frame, you know, every certain number of days, um, however you want to set this up. But the real benefit is it just takes away a manual step in your payroll process. The next thing we're going to do is print out our checks or create direct deposit. And in this example, all the employees get a check. So to print checks, we're going to go to the payroll menu again and click on print check. The payment method determines if a check's going to get printed or if it's going to be direct deposit. So I'm going to select check, but you would have a payment method here for direct deposit if you were using direct deposit. Now you can see all the checks to be uh, printed are listed out right here. And you'll notice right up at the top, again, we have that little clock icon for schedules. So this is a step that could be put on an automation schedule and just run in the background. I'm going to go ahead and click on Process All. And we can take a look at these paychecks. And what you're seeing here is really just a configurable form. So you can control what this layout looks like, and you can change the colors, for example, the fonts. Really anything that you're seeing here can be moved around, changed up to look exactly the way you want to see it. The last step is to 
post these checks. So we're going to go back to process payroll documents. And this time in the action field, instead of going to calculate, we're going to go to release. I'm going to go ahead and click on process all. And when we release our payroll transactions, there's really two things that are happening. We're posting our payroll transactions to the GL. And at the same time, we're moving the time and the costs to the project or projects. And another thing to note is right up here, this is another step of the process that can be automated. So you would never have to actually come in here and click on the process all. It would just happen in the background. Now I entered some time to a certified project called AA Masonry. So let's go take a look at that certified report. Back on my payroll menu, we're going to click on government reporting to get access to Atrix. Now we're interested in the state of Massachusetts. So I'm going to select that as my state. And then down here, you can see your different government reports that you can run through Atrix. And the very first one is the Mass Department of Labor Certified Payroll Report. So we're going to select that one. You can run this for whatever date range you want. We'll use uh, the month of June. So we'll go from June 1st to June 30th and just click on run the report. This is when Atrix comes up and you're prompted to enter in your username and password and just click on login. And it'll go through this little validation to verify your account and your payroll data. And in just a second, we'll be prompted to select the report that we want or the project that we want. And in June, the only certified project that has time entered to it is this AA Masonry project. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. and our report displays. You'll notice there's some red fields. Anywhere you see these red fields, it just means that something needs to be entered there. You might also notice in the upper left-hand corner, it's showing that we're on page one of two. So you can just use the arrows to move between the pages. So here's page two. And again, it has those red fields indicating that you need to enter information. And that completes today's example of certified payroll for the state of Massachusetts.